This model from WSI has a heritage truck, the Scania R143, and it's paired with a truck transporter trailer. It's in the colours of the VSB Group of Holland. Well, the packaging is the usual WSI type of a box for a truck model. It's factory sealed and a swish of the knife allows the lid to be opened. So, what have we got inside? First out is the truck transporter trailer, and that's followed by the Scania 6x2 tractor unit. But wait, there's more! One of them is a numbered collector card which says this is a run of 250 models and the other is a card warning not to tilt the cab because of the ball bar. And there's even more, a bag of small parts. The Scania chassis is typically detailed for a WSI model and is an interesting choice of tyres on the various axles. The wheels look smart with painted hubs and has a distinctive ball bar on the front. And the rest of the model compares well to the real truck, with the roof having lots of lights and horns. A particular plus point is the graphics which reflect those on the real truck. They include the VA emblem and there's also a nice graphic behind the cab. There are coiled airlines but the big exhaust pipes look a bit odd because they don't have shaped holes at the top. At the back there's plenty of detail with a number plate and many lights. Underneath the trailer is fairly simple, although there are rubber mud flaps at the front. But the axles have got good suspension detailing and nice wheels. At the front the detailing is good enough, but some of the silver rivet heads that have been used are surprisingly large. The top surfaces of the trailer are textured well and there are wheel chocks and ramps provided too. Looking at the back, the lights and the number plate are detailed well. Out onto the cranes etc, Alto Schnellweg and the big Scania VSB rides along nicely. The rear axles spin freely and there's no working suspension. But moving to the front, the steering's accurately modelled, but the range of movement's fairly small before the tyres start clashing with the bodywork. Still, you can get a little bit of an angle which is worth having. Just make sure you don't drive the model anywhere with sharp corners. Most WSI models have tilting cabs, but this one you can't tilt because of the ball bar at the front. And maybe it would have been nice if the ball bar was removable. Onto the truck transporter trailer and a really nice touch is that the rear axles all have independent suspension. Each one's controlled by its own springs. So for the exercise fanatics amongst you this is a great way to provide a workout for your thumb. There are some small parts provided for the model and one of these is a pair of loading ramps. And there are also wheel chocks that can be fitted into a number of positions. Ok so this is a trailer that's designed for carrying truck tractor units and it's got a number of moving parts which are replicated on the model. The front ramps can be raised to let a tractor park on top and the main floor can be extended and rotated upwards to provide a continuous ramp for loading. And if that's not enough there's also another trick up its sleeve, or should I say up its rear end, where further extension is possible. Anyway before we try to load up the trailer properly let's attach it to the Scania tractor. And it's easy to click the kingpin into place on the fifth wheel. It's now time for the genuine imitation real life test. These three tractors need hauling back to their display case. So the first thing to do is to lengthen the trailer and drive on the first tractor. As soon as it's on board we can give it a little bit of a lift up. And that allows the second tractor to reverse in and tuck in underneath. For the third tractor the Cranes etc team cheat and just use a giant hand to load it on board. So there we are, the trailer's loaded and the tractors are on their way back to the display case to get covered in dust again. Once again WSI has produced an interesting and detailed truck model. The Scania looks great in the colours of VSB and the trailer looks great when it's fully loaded with tractor units. As an unusual item of heavy haulage, it's highly recommended. Mm.